So we had a young woman write in. And she wants to use a menstrual cup. She brought it up to her mother. She's a teen. And her mom is refusing. And I remember (laughs) facing this dilemma when I wanted to use a tampon instead of pads because pads suck. Well. And they leak. And they stick to your leg. And it's just... And you walk weird. Sometimes they make sounds. (laughs) There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, contact with her genitals if she's using a menstrual cup. So it's pushing it Uh. in, going into... She's going to be touching her vulva. She's going inside her vagina, and at some point, she's going to brush past her clitoris. Oh, that's why. So we just don't want them having too much fun. Well, <laughs> becoming sexual. And I also think it had. Remember the tampon instructions? It was like this book. It was like this long with all these little print, and you were like, and it, it's really simple: a tampon and putting it in your own body. If you think about it, but when you're a young Woman, you're kind of always raised to be divorced from your vagina. You know, I had my jump rope handle up there by the time I was seven or eight. Well, I did too. I mean, I had my Barbie doll leg. We've talked about that before. We penetrated our vaginas for the first time. And did I think you, that's important. What you heard about, you know, how a baby is made, the man puts his There's penis, a hole. <laughs> there's a hole down there. You're going to go down and find it and see if you can get inside. It's But I think they, parent that makes parents uncomfortable. Oh, yes, well, my child is going to become sexual. Now what do I do? <laughs> and, of course, for a But they are sexual. That's the whole point. They're born sexual. From day, yeah, from like day they, one. And you can't stop it. Yeah. Limiting her to a menstrual cup isn't going to keep her from having premarital sex. Or isn't going to keep her from masturbating. No, it'll promote it. Well, because now you've made it a taboo. Why can't I have it? Well, the minute you find out no, it's like, <sighs> yeah, I want to do it even more. It's ridiculous. So this whole concept of, you know, keeping your daughter ignorant of her body, her genitals. And it's also perpetuating the myth of the hymen, that she might bust something and bleed. The hymen breaks over to accommodate menstruation. And like point zero zero one percent of the situations a woman needs to have some kind of surgical procedure, but that is not by any means an average... The hymen is such a Experience. myth. It's such a made-up concept. But you think it happens. You bleed because of lack of arousal. But when young girls think, like, oh, if I break my hymen, someone will know I had sex. And that's it. Yeah. Santa will know if you've been bad or good. Jesus is watching. We can tell if you've yeah. had sex. <laughs> well, the other thing is if there's going to be a little blood, that's na- that's natural. Of course. It's- because we don't know what we're doing and we're a little rough and you break down the the little tissues on the inside of the vagina, and so it'll bleed a little. Now, I will say I didn't bleed the first time I had vaginal intercourse, but then I was penetrating my vagina myself. And the same thing was true for me. (laughs) I thoroughly enjoyed first time penetration. Oh, no. It made us into sluts. Yeah, Yeah. there you have it, you know. So maybe her mom is right. (laughs) Well, it's, you know, if the little boy is putting his penis inside something, that's not going to be a big shocker for the parent, no. unless it's an outlaw. Well, we encourage male sexuality, and we discourage female sexuality, and then we wonder why yeah. heterosexuality is, is so hard for people to pull off, and intimacy and happy sex, the sexual, and marriages. And the sexual double standard. It's deadly. It is so deadly. It's, it's a, as damaging to the boys as it is damaging sure. to the girls. It's like... Girls don't know anything about sex, and boys are supposed to know everything. And he's supposed to know how to penetrate? Think of having a penis and having to penetrate someone for the first time and figuring out how to do it. Oh, forget it. That's really intimidating. And then you have to put a condom on, too. (laughs) It's terrible. It's The whole point of uh, all of it, like, the young girl should show him and guide him. Lots of luck. (laughs) Like, like I know, like she knows. I mean, I just think of all those nights, and, and, and you know, with my, with Bob uh, smooching and necking and making out in the car, with him touching my vulva and playing around in a mm-hmm. very slowly, very slowly over a period of I don't know weeks, he very gently penetrated, and it was like, <gasps> no, oh. and penetration, still penetration is the best, but you should learn it yourself. Let her get a menstrual cup. Stop it. It's ridiculous. the best choice. It's the healthiest choice. Yeah. And think of the landfill. 
Yeah, and it's cheap. Twenty five bucks, you have a cup for the rest of your life until you. I'm can... so sorry I didn't get to have that experience. I love my cup. It's great. I, it changed my life. Yes, it makes it makes your period okay. It's not such a big deal. And if you think of that, it's almost like you know we're living in Africa. We want to keep young girls home bleeding. Like <laughs> we can't. Like life can be simpler and, and easier. No, it's uh, very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy for the for the mother and the father to try to keep the daughter completely ignorant about her body because those are the gals that get pregnant. If you want to do so. Well, if think about it. If you have no dominion over your body and you haven't taken charge of anything, then if you're in a sexual situation, you're going to be manipulated into having sex because you can't say no. You don't know you exactly don't what's going on. No. <laughs> As he creeps closer and closer. <laughs> conversations about penetration, conversations about consent are very important. Let's yeah. raise empowered daughters. Yeah, yeah. We must. We must for their health and for the society so that we get rid of the sexual double standard that is so deadly. Both boys and girls are sexual. It is built in. We're sexual in utero. We're masturbating mm -hmm. inside our mommy's tummies. So come on, parents, grow the fuck up.